Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be teaching you how you can do muzzle flash or gunfire effects in HitFilm 4 Express. So as we can see here, I've got this blank clip um, which is just me uh, and my toilet paper stuck with blue tape uh, gun uh, and it's just doing a little bit of fake recoil there. Um, that's where I'm going to put the muzzle flash effect. All you have to do is right click on that blank clip and press make composite shot. Make sure to leave all the settings here the same because they'll default to the same settings as the clip. Now we can see here that also in my media panel I've got a bunch of assets. So I've got this footage crate muzzle flash with shell. That's just a clip of a muzzle flash, some smoke and a shell right here that's being flung out of the gun. I've also got some other ones which is a 3 star side muzzle flash and a 4 star side muzzle flash. These are all from FootageCrate.com, and FootageCrate.com um, has some really, really awesome uh, assets for v VFX, and they've got loads of good stuff for muzzle flashes as well. So I really highly recommend you check them out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the four-star side one, and I'm going to use that as my effect in this video. First, I'm going to go to View, Workspace, and change my workspace to Compositing. On Windows, there's a grid-like button next to the Undo and Redo buttons from which you can do that. So I'm just going to go into my uh, footage and I'm just going to go down to the frame where the recoil starts. So we can use the comma and the full stop keys to go frame by frame. So I think this is the frame where I want to put the muzzle flash because it's exactly where the recoil starts. I'm going to go into my media panel now. I'm just going to directly drag that straight onto my video. So once we've dropped it on we can see that we've got an image of a muzzle flash on our screen. This one is transparent, just like most of the ones on Footage Crate. But if you go and get a muzzle flash from a site that's not from Footage Crate, or you get one from a Footage Crate that isn't pre-keyed, so to speak, it's not transparent background, you can go into the effects panel and search up for the luminance key effect or the demult, which will do both do similar things and get rid of black in your image. So I'm just going to position this, uh, scale it down a bit maybe, and position this in front of my gun's muzzle. Now, as a good rule of thumb, uh, your flash should be about one to one and a half times the size of your gun. Um, this one, this particular flash, I think is very wide, um, so I'm going to lengthen it out a bit, like so, and just do that, and that's uh, my finished muzzle flash. Now as we scrub through frame by frame, um, we can see it's also got the smoke there. We can do a RAM preview by hitting this play button next to the actual play button, the circular one and it will start a RAM preview, which is essentially a preview that is like perfect. It's like an exported video and it plays back in real time properly. So I, I quite like that muzzle flash. I think it should be a bit higher because on the second frame it goes a bit higher, um, but that's all good. I would usually add a sound effect in here, um, but because we're in the composite shot we can't see the waveform, um, so it's best to do that in the editor. As a final touch, um, what you might want to do is add some extra things to make it just that extra bit realistic. So if we add a new layer, a new plane layer, and let's make it a black layer, um, then we can search for the light flare effect um, and just drag it straight onto that layer. Now if we go into layer properties, make sure we set the blend to be screen or add to make sure that the flare uh, doesn't have a black background. Then we can change the type of flare to something like a digital stripe, um, which has a nice orangey glow. Or we can change it to something like light sword clash orange, which is quite a bit over the top. But we can reduce the intensity and the scale. Now personally, I just really like the look of digital blocks. It's by far my favourite lens flare um, in the entire HitFilm uh, pack because it just looks so natural. But the issue is, it's blue, so I'm just going to go for the hue, saturation, and lightness uh, effect. And in here, I'm just going to go to the master, and I'm going to change the hue shift until it's more of an orange ready color. Okay, and now I'm just going to position it properly as well, so I'm going to put it right at the base of the flash. And we can play with the intensity and the scale of this effect. So I'm going to make it quite big, um, but not so intense. And I'm just going to shorten the layer so it starts when the actual muzzle flash starts um, and make it end when the muzzle flash ends. Now when we do a RAM preview, 
it's much more of a bang flash rather than just the actual fire. Also remember that adding a grade at the end uh, will help blend everything in, um, including all of the effects that you added, because the grade will be applied to every effect. So thank you guys for watching, I hope this video was helpful, I hope it was useful, um, and yeah, stay shiny. Bye!